Today is gonna be a fun day. I'm so over being so misunderstood. Yeah, I've got my assets covered. I'm all good. I'm going to have a one man pride parade. Woo, let's go, baby! Woo! Woo! I'm trans, once upon a time I was a girl, and now I'm a whole man. A whole man, because I already got my surgery. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Big Daddy. <laughs> Big Daddy Gabe. Yes, 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 that's what I'm talking about. I love doing my parades. I do them when I feel prideful. I've been doing it for two years now. Happy Pride Month! I first started the One Man Flash Pride Parade because COVID locked down everything. Woo! All of the Pride Parades, all the festivals, they were now canceled. And I felt like people just needed a pick-me-up, you know, something to smile about. Yes, that's what I'm talking about! It's a very hard life being trans. It's not like one day you just wake up and you're like, oh, you know what, I'm trans. No, it's a feeling that you feel your entire life. When I was younger, I wanna say in kindergarten, my cousin had a friend that dressed like a boy. Once I found out that, you know, girls can wear boy clothes, I started with basketball shorts and I just wore basketball shorts every single day. When I was 16 years old, I came out as lesbian because I didn't know that you can change your gender. I didn't know anything like that. All I know is, oh, I feel like a boy, but you know what? I date girls. Oh, I'm, that, when I was little, that's what I just thought it was, you know? And then when I was 22 years old, I saw a video and this guy was transitioning. He used to put up videos about that. And so I was like, wow, that's crazy. So I watched all his videos in like back to back in like that whole night. After that, I was like, all right, I got to do this. I knew, like, I didn't have no doubts in my mind. There isn't a written rule or an unwritten rule when to tell somebody, even like somebody that you're dating. But the morning after I met Isabel, I'm like, oh, I have to tell her, I have to tell her. So I ended up telling her through text messages and she tells me it's okay because I just see you as a man. And at that point, I was like, oh, yes, like, this is, like, it couldn't have worked out in my favor, like, any better. A couple months after we met, I started renting an apartment in Medellin, Colombia. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when Isabel moved out of her family's house and in with me in Medellin. I've been going back and forth ever since, but now I'm gonna move there permanently. And I'm proposing to her because I cannot be away from this woman. I love Isabel. Hey, yo, Keon! Yo, bro, what you bro. doing? <laughs> Why you on my block? One man parade! <laughs> Keon is my best friend. Yo, what's up? I met him a couple years ago from a transgender support group. Happy, Happy Pride! Pride! Happy Pride! You hungry? Because I'm hungry. You? Yes. He loves the idea of my parade, so sometimes he decides to join. Uh, I feel a little naked out here, I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm letting your uh, legacy live on. There you go. The Somebody got parade. It. Cause somebody decided to really go to Columbia. I'm making it official, bro. Like my sewing machines, everything is coming with me now. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. It. I'm happy for you. As long as you happy, I'm happy. I'm, I'm gonna have to come in, come, come down there for the one man parade, as you see. So, <laughs> so how is it out there? They, they trans friendly, like, and you know, especially with transitioning, going to a whole another sure. country. It's like, I'm not the only trans person over there in Colombia, not you've at met, all. You've met other guys? Well, I never meet any guys here. You. Don't, don't try what, to go to what, Colombia and replace me. <laughs> I'm nah. gonna fly, tell them you got a best friend that will fly down there because I will come outside, I'm outside, and nobody taking my place. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm telling you, even down here, what do you see more, trans men or trans women? Trans, trans women, women, they're like yeah. everywhere. It's like the same thing in Colombia, like. But you know, at like, the same you, time, you can't clock us, so it's not like. Exactly. Oh, exactly, wow. Is exactly. that one of the brothers of brotherhood? Exactly. No. 
I'm more than happy for him to be going to Columbia. But at the same time, I just want to make sure he's OK. He's being, you know what I'm saying, accepted of who he is. And he's not being mistreated, being anything of the sort, even if somebody finds out his situation. So what about, like, the family? You around? Any questions or anything like that? Her mom and dad, they don't know. And I'm trying to marry their daughter. So, like, what would you do and how would you phrase it? You you really want her parents to know, though? Yeah, they, they really got to know. You? They they got to know because they accepted me. Yeah. Like, like they're, they love me. They love me so much. And I feel like every time I see them, I'm like, damn, I feel so bad because it's like, you feel like they need to know. something from them? Exactly. I don't make a point to tell everybody that I'm trans. I even have friends that, like, some of them don't know. But with her parents, I feel like it's different because I'm becoming a part of this family now. When we get married, they are now my family. I don't want to have any secrets, and I don't want them to find out from somebody else. What's going on, man? Chilling. Ready to get the tattoo? Let's do it. All right, we'll step in. All right, cool, cool, cool. It's happening. I'm moving to Columbia in under a week to be with Isabel. I just can't wait to be with her, to see her, to start our new life together. Sure you want to do this? Yep. Before I make my move, I'm actually going to get her name tattooed on me. I feel like it's permanence, and I want to show her that I'm here, and I'm here to stay. He's about to get serious, boy. Trying to professional love. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Gabe. What's up, Monica? Hey. I just knew you were going to show up today. I knew it. I oh, felt it in my obviously. bones. Obviously. Do you think my boyfriend's going to tattoo your girlfriend's name on you, and he's not going to tell me? Dang, Malcolm. Can't really do much without letting my boss know what's happening. <laughs> My relationship with my sister Monica is very unique because we fight and bump heads almost every single time we see each other. But I think it's coming out of love because growing up, it was just the two of us living with my mom. And we are actually very, very, very close. Are you going to get rid of the other girlfriend's name or? The other name, yes. We're going to black it out. Malcolm said he'll black out the name for me. OK, so you're getting this new tattoo. Is that like? to prove that you love her just as much as you used to love the person on the back of your neck, or what? I just, I don't know. I just want her name. It's like another notch on the belt, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's how I express myself. This is not the first time I tattooed a woman's name on my body. I was 18, 19 years old. I was impulsive. But because it's on my back, I don't ever see it, so it's out of, out of sight, out of mind. This is very much Gabe. You fall in love after a week, and then boom, you're living with someone, you're tattooing their name on you. This How is many just, girlfriends did I live with? You've lived with, what, like two or three, but then you also move, but then oh. you also move them into our mom's house. I think that Gabe moving to Columbia to be with a woman is a stupid decision but it's just very true to who he is as a person because he's impulsive. He has a tendency to jump the gun and rush into things. It can get exhausting. After your last relationship, you told me that you needed to be by yourself and get some alone time. And then now, here you are getting a tattoo. It's just fate, it's just what happens. And so what about her kids? You said that you didn't want to date someone with kids after your last relationship. What? You said that you would never do it again. Yeah, but her and kids are, two. are big. How and old? 16 and 11. Okay. So it's they take care of themselves. So what does that mean? You can just disregard them? No, it means that I don't have to like babysit them. You don't want to help her with her kids? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I'm not saying that I'm, I'm not asking... going to help. Of course I'm going to help her, because like we all live together. But I'm saying that she's motherly and provides for her children. But you pay the bills. Yeah. So who's providing? Isabel has two kids. She has a daughter that's 16 and a son that's 11 years old. 
My relationship with Isabel's kids, it's very good. As soon as I step in the house and they're there, it's like great. It's it's awesome. It feels like a real family. Hey, we're, we're done with the tattoo, man. <laughs> Thanks, Malcolm. All right. Yeah, just go ahead and relax. I don't want to be the devil's advocate, but like I'm concerned because you do have a tendency to like jump from relationship to relationship. Like you go in with these rose-colored glasses and like everything's perfect. They're the greatest thing ever and they're so much more different from the other person. It's like same yeah. thing up, oh, another crazy girlfriend. So how do you how yeah. do you know that this isn't well, the case here? It's not like a new relationship because we've been together for like over a year already. I just want to be sure that she's just as invested in you as you are of in her. I think so. You know, for her to even trust me, like with her kids, it's you know, you're not gonna just, just gonna do that with anybody that like you just met. So you know, absolutely this is the one. Yeah. In the past, my sister has seen me go through some bad breakups, and I feel like that's why she's very concerned about me now. But Isabel is different. I know she's different. I feel it in my heart that she's different, in my soul, in my brain. And at the end of the day, it's my life, and I'm gonna just do what I want. And so that's it. You're just gonna, that's it. You're like officially moving. Yeah. I'm gonna miss you. Of course, obviously, I love you. I want the best for you. I love you too. If if it doesn't work out, I'll be I'll be here. And you can say I told you so. <laughs> <laughs>